All right, so I'm gonna start this off with the shameless Instagram plug like I normally do. If you guys have been following me over on Instagram though, you'll know that I've mentioned there's a new project coming with 123 Toyed and Parts Express together, and here it is. This is the components for the entire surround build. So yes, subwoofers will be coming. Uh, I have to actually make an updated tour of what the setup is currently at the moment. It's sort of just pieced together, just speakers uh, around the room with the Ultimax. To anyway, regardless, that's another video to come another day. Here is the components for our five surround speakers. So our left, our right, our center channel, and our two rear channels that are designed specifically with crossovers that match the speakers. I know that's a big thing that a lot of people were talking about in my last videos. And to be honest, I have no idea how crossover design works. If you put me on a computer and said design a crossover for these speakers, I wouldn't even know where to start besides going to 123 Toyd's channel to see what he does. And that's exactly who has designed the crossovers for this. He's tailored them to my needs. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I believe plans will be for sale. These are somewhat designed for me in the sense that I like a slightly brighter sound than normal. I usually end up boosting the treble like one or two notches on the amplifiers. I think that runs at plus two uh, for these speakers here, which are actually rather dull. Anyway, regardless, I talk too much. Everyone always tells me that in the comments. Uh, let's get started because I'm super keen to see this. These are, of course, as I've said, the components and I'll talk more about what the components actually are. Um, once we get the box open here, um, this is, again, the five surround speakers. So the left channel, right channel, center channel, and the rear two speakers, because we're going for a five point, not gonna tell you, setup, uh, because I'm not gonna tell you how many subwoofers I'm intending to use. I'm definitely gonna go for the YouTube factor for the subwoofers and do something on the extreme line, whether that's extreme power, extreme sizes, extreme quantities, not sure yet, but I'm telling you now, it's going to be some sort of level of extreme. And if you look at that, that is an entire bag there of capacitors and resistors of different impedances. And that is what is going to design the specific crossovers here for these drivers. So I've decided to opt for matching tweeters the entire way around the sound system. So exactly each speaker will have the same level of treble or the same sound quality. And this is the Peerless DA25TX00-08. This is a one inch tweeter and it's very heavy. If there's one in this box, I'm gonna be very surprised with the weight of this thing. Wow. Whoa. Oh my God. There is a, wow. These are extremely nice tweeters. I'll have to get some close up overlays on this video right now for you guys. So you can see what I'm experiencing right now, but this truly is a very nice looking tweeter. It's impressively hefty, impressively sized. That is, wow. These are going to be very, very solid speakers when they're done. So, as I just mentioned, there's five of those tweeters. So, there's our first one. Here's our second one. Here's our third one. Here's the fourth one. And of course, in the very bottom of the box, there's our fifth. So, that is our five matching tweeters. I was originally opting for, I think they make a 1.25 or a 1.5 inch one, not 100% sure. But there's a reason why I wasn't gonna go for it. So, regardless, we have our standard packaging here. Of course, make sure these come in the mail without being damaged. So, let's just have a quick look. There is more, wow, okay, there is, let's not spoil the drivers just yet. Those are more crossover components. It's not stack them on the computer. Wow, I, holy crap, there is a lot of crossover components here. These are, I'm pretty sure, I haven't checked the prices or the costs on these crossovers, but I'm assuming these are gonna be fairly expensive and fairly high quality crossovers. I believe like the, the price for these speakers is rather high. These are gonna be really, really high quality speakers when they're built. Uh, I'm gonna do a really nice design for them. Uh, Toyd's gonna do a similar design um, with, well, the same design using the same components but in uh, different box design. Uh, so that will be happening, but, well, here it is. I'm gonna show you on the camera that zooms in further so you can hopefully read the box. This is the Esoteric series five and a quarter inch woofer. So we have two five and a quarters. They are for the rear speakers. So 
let's have a look at the rear speaker woofer driver here. So it's a five and a quarter inch, super high quality driver here. These things are very, very expensive considering for like the fact that it's just a single speaker. These are up the top of the top that Dayton Audio makes as of now. And wow, just look at that. <laughs> wow, okay, I think, I don't, I don't even wanna touch the magnet on the back or the magnet shield there. That is unbelievable. Again, there's gonna be overlays right now close up, but just looking at the back of that, the magnet, I feel like I need to polish this before I put it in the box. That is super, super high quality. The cone looks to be made of super high quality material. The voice coil is unbelievably huge. These speakers are designed to take a high, rated, a high rating of peak power. Uh, that way they are able to handle uh, just like if there's a quick loud explosion or whatever and the driver gets peaked for a second, the quality um, of the speaker means that the voice coil and that is going to be able to support that high load uh, for a short period of time. So very, very good for a home theater application. Man, this is, wow. This is a very, very impressive looking driver. Very, very high quality. You already know this is going back in the plastic. I don't want to touch the stainless steel that is on the back here and get my fingerprints all over it. Wow, what a high quality driver that is. The terminals are gold plated and everything. This is, this is, this is the like just, oh man. I, as you can hear, words cannot explain. Wow, that is, this build, man, it's going to be nice. These speakers are going to sound incredible. So that's the first one, obviously. And then we have our second five and a quarter. So that is the rear two speakers. So basically the whole setup is a 5.1, no, not one, five point whatever setup. Um, but all of the speakers are bookshelves with one tweeter and one woofer. Um, the front three will be obviously identical. The rear two will be slightly smaller boxes with these five and a quarter, uh, five and a half inch woofers. And then the, obviously the front speakers are going to have the seven inch esoteric driver. So matching tweeters and basically matching woofers, um, but slightly smaller up the back there. And these apparently have been delivering Toyd an absolutely incredible response from everything. Uh, I've been told by him, I'm gonna be extremely ex impressed with the bass response from these. So who knows if later down the road, I do decide to redesign the front speakers and turn them into like some T-line towers or something maybe similar to what I've done in the past. And again, I'm guessing the design here is going to be very much the same, just a little bit bigger, which would make a lot of sense. Man, I don't wanna to touch that magnet. So I'm gonna put my hand there on the basket and let me just reiterate that these are, I can't actually remember off the top of my head if they're neodymium or um, ferrite. I'm gonna say with a rather uneducated guess, but judging by the size of it uh, and knowing the power rating, it's definitely a neo magnet uh, with a very, very shiny stainless boot. I believe the voice coil size between the two woofers is identical. I believe they probably share the same coil um, you have to correct me on that, but I'd have to look up the specifications, but they most likely share the same coil. It's just a bigger basket. I believe the power ratings are the same, um, but wow. Again, super, super high quality here. It's a cast basket, a Neo magnet, a very, very nice um, front woofer cone. I can't remember if these are Kevlar or if they are carbon. I'm gonna say Kevlar based on the feel of it um, with a nice rubber surround. This thing, <laughs> These are going to look incredibly nice. This gold plated terminals, the huge voice coil that's vented. We're gonna have to start breaking these in fairly soon. Just get some really low volume woofer porn of these things moving very, very slowly up very, very close. These are really, really nice speakers that I'm super, super glad that I opted for these for the surround build, guys. That's gonna be coming as soon as I can possibly get it going. These look incredible. The build is going to be incredible. It's going to sound awesome. I'm so excited for this. I may not look at it right now, but man, I'm just... Oh. These are the top quality drivers here. I believe these run for like a hundred and something dollars per woofer. Just super, super expensive drivers, super high quality. And uh, you get what you pay for when it comes to this sort of thing. And I think the end result 
is going to be incredible. I'm gonna make sure the boxes are designed correctly. I know everyone goes off at me at that in the past. I sort of just wanna show that you can get out there and just build something and then have it turn into something. But this build is gonna be all about doing it correctly. This is gonna be talking to professional people that know exactly what they're doing, making sure the enclosures are designed correctly, making sure we have a huge pile of crossover components to make a custom crossover that's designed specifically to match this woofer with those tweeters. This build's gonna be done 100% correctly, 100% legitimately right. And uh, wow, the end result will speak for itself. I'm sure I can reference this video to myself in however long's time, but this is gonna be incredible. So there we have it. There's the components for the new build. If you guys have enjoyed this video uh, to see what's coming, I apologize there aren't subwoofers. I know my channel is dedicated to subwoofers, but you can't have music without the surround speakers and these are the incredible sound speakers, surround speakers that are going to be coming. Massive, massive thank you to Parts Express for sending these out to me. I cannot wait to make build videos, videos of these running, sound clips, uh, some sound demos with some high quality uh, music coming through my computer. It's, uh, it's going to be incredible. I cannot wait to hear these once they're done. And I will begin building these as soon as I possibly can, guys. Make sure you go show Parts Express some support and 123Toid. Of course, both links will be in the description as well as the links to all of the products here. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know uh, by commenting it down below. If you're excited to see this build, let me know that down below. With that being said though, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have enjoyed seeing what is coming.